need the array as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps or and our Ray that will accomplish this. At the moment, Every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of RAID. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the... during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. Metal Gear. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. You must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Left. Down. Right. Front. Getting back to the topic at hand. I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a... world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that, that is my duty. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's wrecks, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. Good. Its onboard Joint Tactical Information Distribution System identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon, and it is yours to guard. I'd like you all to think about what that means. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the great Manta Ray. Good. Our Ray has a sting that nature never gave the Manta. 
With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. George Sears surrendered his presidency in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development of Metal Gear Rex and next generation nuclear warheads. But good. We heard rumors that he was forced to resign after the failed cover up cost him his influence in the political community. Let's stretch those neck muscles again. Left. Down. <laughs> 